It's showing love, man. Sure. Having a, we always talk about love is according to the scriptures. You know, and part of the, the, the commandments is also having a godly love, man. You know? Having a merciful love, man. Towards your brother. You know, that's a huge aspect of the truth. Because guess what? You can say something about a brother, he can say something about you too. That's right. Then, with that being said, when's it going to end? If I say this to this brother, if I'm thinking this about this brother, what's the next? What's the alternative to that? Or what's the conclusion? What's the solution? Now, unless it's not the solution that's going to come out of there, it's nothing but mess. That's right. And if you believe that brother that you're talking to is a, is a man of the Lord, is of the elect, that's, that's cool. Maybe he said something that offended you. A lot of things in the world offend you. A lot of things in the world get on your nerves. You ain't got to address it that time. Or sometimes you can just say, you know what? It's all good. Sometimes, you know, Jake just, you know, Jake be ragging on you a little bit. You ain't got to take it so serious. Other times, yeah. I'm a little bit upset about this, so I'm going to talk to the brother about that. But what you don't do is say, ah, oh, forget this. I'm going to work out my own salvation. I'm just going to do it my way. Like Usher, I'm just going to do it my way. Right? But like in the time of Joshua, hold on one second. In the time of Joshua, he spoke to the people after Moses died. He said, we're going to make this contract. And if you're down with the Lord, then be down with the Lord down with the Most High, Yahweh, be down. If you're not going to be down, then go your way. That's how we feel. If you're not down with the system that has been laid down, if you're not down with, with this new martial arts that we're learning, then won't you go to another school? Right. Maybe uh, uh, BJ James Porter. Go learn Taekwondo. That's how we feel about this stuff. If you're not down with the system, well then go. Go your way, and, and, and whatever the Lord got for you, that's what he got for you. This is Galatians 5 and 13. For brethren, ye have been called unto liberty. Only use not liberty for an occasion to the flesh, mm -hmm. but by love serve one another. That's right, serve one another. So if you're saying to yourself, I hate the brotherhood, man, I hate coming over when the brothers are there. Man, I hate when brothers stop by here. You going off. And if you don't correct that and pray to the Lord for forgiveness and pray for a spirit that's good for the brotherhood, that's good for the elect, well then you, you might be out of there pretty soon. That's, right. that's what this whole thing is about. We already read that. It's about the elect. And if you're of the elect, you'll be taken care of. Verse 14, for all the laws fulfilled in one word, even in this, that's to love thy neighbor as thyself. That's right. Wow. That's, a, that's a beautiful way to put it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Now, a nigga in the world will take that and just say, well, I can do whatever I want to do. But if I'm loving my neighbor as myself, if I see my neighbor about to eat, eat some pork, I'm going to say, say, I'm going to grab his room. <laughs> I'm going to say, say, if you read in the scriptures, the Lord tells his people not to eat that soil. So put that down. You'll tell your neighbor the right and the wrong thing. You'll tell him. He, he over there talking about sleeping with another man's woman. You'll tell him, nah, bro, that's not a good idea. You going off major. That's a sin unto death. A brother might confide in you and say he having homosexual feelings. You'll tell him, look, you do that madness, the Lord is going to kill your ass. That's, right. that's love for your neighbor. I know that's a crazy example. That's a very, very crazy. But, but it's true. <laughs> it's true. God, God. But it's true. God. A brother might tell you some craziness like that. And he might say, well, damn, I'm glad you told me that. Because I didn't know. They taught me all my life that it was OK. It is what it is. You don't know what a brother been through. Mm -hmm. You know, you have a lot of people out here, out here who have suffered a lot of strange things in this world, man. Mm -hmm. One is pedophilia. A lot of people don't really talk about uh, young boys getting being molested. Where they happen, you know. And who's who? Who are you to say that the Most High will have mercy on them? Anymore? That's why you gotta have sympathy. You don't know what a person goes through. But then this truth, I might add, 
because we don't have sympathy for everybody. That's right. The scriptures do say that those who die, uh, uh, you give, knows who, who you give to, man. Alluding to Sirach in the, the, the 12th chapter. Man. No, so we we'll understand that's balance. Titus 3. Yeah. Yeah. But if ye bite and devour one another, take ye heed. But if ye bite and devour one another, take heed that ye be not consumed one of another. Boy. At verse uh, 14, it was going into basically empty, having empty for your neighbor, which means, you know, so let's read. Galatians 5 and 14 For all the law is fulfilled in one word Even in this That thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself But that's just going into the word empathy Having, having the ability to feel what another person is feeling And that, that And understand that That entails also having mercy man. You gotta have mercy In order to feel what this brother is feeling man. Because you've been in his situation so if you see this man slipping, guess what? You're gonna have you gonna have mercy too. Because you because you want that. Because you understand where that person is, man. That's right. And you're gonna do it by any means uh, necessary to lift that brother up to keep him in the truth. Because as we up here speak, I did a quick hit about this uh, last week. As we speak, we were we were once not in the truth as well. We were once eating pork, we were once committing adultery. We were once stealing, so on and so forth. But when that spirit came to us, we put that madness aside. And that's what we're talking about now. The elect, that's what the elect will do. And if you've done that, then it's important that you stay on that path. Because if you turn away from it, then you're signing your own, own death certificate. Is there more? There is more, but if you read yours out. Titus chapter 3, verse 3. Uh, Titus 3 and 3. For we ourselves also were sometimes foolish, disobedient, deceived. We ourselves were once with quit with. I remember I, I, was, I was in the military, I lived in a barracks. I had a little baby Christmas tree in there with fake presents under it. Looking like a <laughs> damn fool. I'm just doing it because that's what they say to do. Right? I was in that spirit. Uh, Easter. They got an Easter basket. You know, you go to work, they give it. I come home, I got an Easter basket, all basket, all kind of colored eggs and stuff on my on my desk. We were once into that foolishness. St. Patrick's Day come and somebody ain't got green on, you pinching them. Take our running happy. You got green paint on your face. Looking crazy as hell. We were once doing that stuff. Christmas time, you kissing under the mistletoe. Got a hat on, Santa hat on. Yeah. Valentine's Day, you got a brand new suit on, sitting in Red Lobster with your old lady. <laughs> they make you more candles more. lit on the side. No good, no good way you weren't supposed to bring them candles in the Red Lobster. You trying to set the mood. We were doing that madness too. We were all once out there like that too. Go ahead, something might start to talk. Titus 3 and 3. For we ourselves also were sometimes foolish. Some of us were in the Catholic Church. Looking dumb as hell with, with an ass cross on your head. Sitting at a computer, just working away with a cross, ass cross on your head. That's ass wisdom. What's, that's that's Paul, what's the day before that's that's ass wisdom? Easter. Fat Tuesday. Now, it's what are you doing on Fat Tuesday? Uh, Walling out, yeah. Wilding hanging out. from these buildings, asking these women to uh, show you their titties, throwing yeah. beads all everywhere. Yeah. But then the ne in the next 24 hour period, you sitting at work with an ass on your head, just as holy as you could be. Oh, yeah, with a head. Yeah. Oh, who thought it was man? I should have got more beans, bro. That's all you thinking about. Oh. So, what's the ass supposed to represent? Morning. 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 Everybody put asses on the ass. But it's in the shape of a cross. Time moves. I so we were once out there, wild as hell. Some of us were Masons. Some of us were all kind of stuff. So we, we can speak on it. We can tell you that it's important that you turn away from that life. It says, uh, 
uh, d disobedient, deceived, uh, serving divers lusts and pleasures, living in malice and envy, hateful and hating one another. That's what we were doing. Sleeping with another man's wife, you're hating the man. You completely despising that man. If you're willing to take a chance of ruin, ruining this man's whole household, just so you can get some box, you despise your neighbor. Right. You hate your neighbor. Jake was out here stealing. We were into all of that stuff. But what did we do? We came out of that through the spirit of Yahweh Bosh from Yahweh Shah. Go ahead. It says, but after that, the kindness and love of Yahweh, our uh, like of Yahweh Shah, our Savior toward man appeared, not by works of righteousness, which we have done, but according to his mercy, mm -hmm. he saved us by the washing of regeneration. So it wasn't any particular work that any man up here did to get the spirit. It wasn't something that you, it's not something that you're able to go and say a prayer 15 times, and now you'll have the spirit to come out here and preach his word. That's not it at all. The scripture says that it's the washing and the regeneration of the spirit. That's what happened to us. We were out in this world, and even after all the manner of weakness that we were doing, we were wanting something. We just didn't know what it was. We were crying out for something. We just didn't know what it was. Even though a man was committing adultery, he didn't, nobody was telling him through the scripture, through that spirit, that, hey man, that's awful. That's wrong. But when, but when it came in the right spirit, it hits you and you say, you know what? I ain't doing that shit no more. Uh -huh. When that true spirit came, not that church spirit. Because as a pastor telling you not to do it, I saw a, a, a article or a, a news news article the other day about a pastor who slept with a man's wife. Yeah. And nigga got killed. Yeah. Yeah. Quick. Yeah. He got his judgment quick. Yeah. It says, uh, not by our works of righteousness, or so like, yeah, not by our works of our righteousness, which we have done, but according to his mercy, he saved us by the washing now, of- Hold on, it says he saved us. Oh, wait a minute, are y'all saying y'all are saved? Are y'all saying y'all are already beamed up? Of course not. It says saved, but it's gonna explain to you what that saved means. What happened to us to have that option, that hope of salvation. Something had to happen, go ahead. By the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Ghost. So that's what happened. We were, we were washed through his word and now we have that hope for salvation because before we didn't have that. We were just niggas walking around, doing any and everything, eating any and everything. Yep. And when you live that life, there's only one option for you. And that's that option that Esau has. You're just gonna get worse and worse and worse and then you're gonna die. And that's what happened to that's Esau. He wasn't patient. He wanted it all. He didn't want it with Cain. He, he didn't want to give up the correct sacrifice. He wanted to keep it for himself. When Esau, he didn't want to wait. He said, you know, I'm on birthright. I ain't worried about that, man. Give me some of that porridge with that raw meat. And that's how you niggas are. I ain't worried about it. She got a man, that's on her. Man, he, shouldn't, he, he shouldn't even bought the car. He worried about me stealing it. He should never even bought it. Jake snatching person. That's on her. She should have held it tight. That's that same mind frame of Esau, and you're gonna die. Running that same race. It says, which he shed on us abundantly through Yahweh Shah, Hamashiach, our Savior, that being justified by his grace, we should be made heirs according to the hope of eternal life. And that's what we are made through his spirit, through his sacrifice. Now we have that hope for salvation. When we, were, when we received that new spirit, we got that, we, we got that unction. And now all you have to do is keep pushing and hope that you are in that number. Uh, yeah, I'll be last verse. It says, this is a faithful saying, in these things I will that thou affirm constantly that they which have believed in the Most High might be careful to maintain good works. 
affirm it constantly. Constantly do your work. Constantly get into this work. Constantly put up videos. Don't ever say to yourself, man, you know, I'm good. I just let Yahshua do it. If the spirit is on you, then do it. And that's I, that spirit of putting up videos and doing quick hits, that's not on everybody. But if it's, I'm talking about if it's on you, God. and it's burning inside of you, then you need to be doing it. You need to be putting it up. Because you're working for your own salvation. Right. The Lord has another uh, uh, a story for the next man. I'm talking about if that spirit is on you to read the book of Numbers tonight, then do it. Don't let your 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 members tell you, man, I'm, I'm tired, I'm good, I ain't gonna do it. Fight that off and read it, because it might be something in there that the Lord wanted you to see. That's right. That's right. It says, these things are good and profitable unto me. That's right. So me myself, <laughs> the Lord put the spirit on me to, to, to want to do those quick hits, to want to do stuff like that. And when I don't do it, I start to feel down, I start to feel like I'm losing. When all you gotta do is nigga just do it. Just turn the camera on. It's just that easy. Okay. So now you do one, and then you do that one, and as as a brother reading for you, like, damn, that's, that's a number one right there. And now you're an inspiration for this. Now he just did 10 of them. So all you gotta do is follow your path, be in your spirit. Sit on that. I still got to have a The brother was reading this earlier, and then I'm, I'm pretty much doing the same lesson that I was talking about in Tyler. I guess it's just the Lord wanted it to come out again. Or I didn't have nothing else to talk about. What did you do? <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, this is uh, Isaiah, Isaiah 66 and 3. Uh -huh. He that killeth an ox is at Salaki. He that killeth an ox is as if he slew a man. He that uh, sacrificed a lamb as if he cut off a dog's neck. Mm -hmm. He that offered an oblation. All the things that you're doing, you're doing that in vain because you're not in the spirit and will of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh You're doing all that stuff in vain. All those sacrifices and all the good things that you're saying, all the prayers you're putting up, that's all in vain. You might as well, instead of taking the ox, kill the man. You, instead of killing the goat, you might as well just kill the dog. Or, or a pig or something, and try to sacrifice that. Because none of what you're saying means anything. It's all vain glory that you're talking about. Go ahead. As if he offered swine's blood, he that burneth incense as if he blessed an idol. Yea, they have chosen their own ways, mm -hmm. and their soul delighted in their abominations. And that's what's happening. If you're not following the will of your how about some y'all shot like the spirit has put on you to do, but then you follow your own way and your path is destruction. And the Lord will take the spirit off of you. You'll be sitting at the house thinking to yourself, man, I wonder what it's like to be with a man. Why these people like you so much? I wonder what it's like. The Lord will put that spirit on you. When you read in Romans, the first chapter, it talks about that. The Lord will give you up to your own madness. So if you don't stay in the spirit and do what you're supposed to do, those are the things that you can look forward to. Now you won't know it at the time, but we'll know it. Because we'll see you out here skipping up and down the, the blocks holding a man's hand. Yeah. And that'll give us more, more, more of the unction to get right back in this word. God, we'll mess right. around and do 20 quick hits or something like that. <laughs> I see that man is going. <laughs> Uh, this is verse 4. It says, I also would <laughs> show Jake just turned the camera on at the house. <laughs> hey, uh, it's me again. Yeah. <laughs> no, you don't never stop the record. You just leave it on. <laughs> Jake laying down. Sleeping. Uh, Isaiah 66 and 4. I also would choose their delusions and would bring their fears upon them. So those that don't stay with what they were given, that want to take the gift that the Most High gave you, the perfect gift, and let's say it's a car. The Lord gave you a perfect car, now you want to take it and change the exhaust. I want to be a little bit louder. I'm going to put these rims up. 
if the Lord wanted you to have a call like that, he would have gave it to you. Like that's right. He would have gave it to you. The gift is perfect, but you want to have it your way. So go ahead, have it your way. Now you put the rims on the car, you tear